The human leukocyte antigen, or HLA, genes encode the major histocompatibility complex cell surface proteins. These HLA antigens are essential to immune function. Patients with acute leukemia or myelodysplastic syndrome may require allogeneic hematopoietic cell transplants. The key to a successful transplant is to match the donor and recipient human leukocyte antigens. HLA identical siblings are the preferred donors, but such donors are not available for most patients. Cord blood from an unrelated donor can also be used successfully for such transplants. The advantage to cord blood donation is that some degree of HLA mismatching is acceptable. Investigators conducted a retrospective analysis of 582 consecutive patients from 2006 through 2016 who had either acute leukemia or myelodysplastic syndrome and had received a first myeloablative allogeneic hematopoietic cell transplant. More than 80% of the patients had either acute myeloid leukemia or acute lymphoblastic leukemia. About a third of the patients had pre-transplant minimal residual disease. 140 patients received unrelated cord blood transplants, 344 received HLA-matched unrelated transplants, and 98 received HLA-mismatched unrelated transplants. Those that received cord blood were younger, had higher rates of cytomegalovirus positivity, and included the highest percentage of patients with high to very high disease risk. The overall survival rate at four years was highest in the cord blood group. After adjustment for age, severity of disease, year of transplant, use of high-dose total body irradiation, and the presence or absence of minimal residual disease, differences between groups in mortality and relapse risks were found to vary according to whether the patients had pre-transplant minimal residual disease. For those without minimal residual disease, mortality was similar among the three groups. For those with minimal residual disease, mortality rates were not significantly different between those who received HLA-matched transplants and those who received cord blood, but they were higher among those who received HLA-mismatched transplants. Relapse risks were similar among groups for those without minimal residual disease. However, for those with minimal residual disease, the relapse rate was lowest for those who received cord blood. Thus, the study shows that for patients with acute leukemia or myelodysplastic syndrome with minimal residual disease before transplantation, hematopoietic cell transplant from cord blood was associated with a high rate of survival and a lower risk of relapse. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.